off the practice field on a beautiful late September afternoon here at the United States Naval Academy. We're joined by junior cornerback Elias Larry. And man, what a way to practice in beautiful weather like this right in the banks of the Seven River. Nah, yeah, it's no better place to practice than out here. Right here by the water with the boats and stuff like that. It's a beautiful place to be. If you can't be in LA, why not be here, right? Yeah, that's true. That's true. What has it been like for you coming to the East Coast, growing up uh, just north of LA in Palmdale, coming here playing uh, at the Naval Academy? It's been a drastic change, you know. In the beginning, I had like a, a hard time transitioning and stuff like that, because it's completely different than LA in like a lot of different ways. But I feel like I I found my my comfort my comfort spot, and I feel like I like it here. So it's been good so far. And one thing you really found the comfort zone is as a cover corner in Division One football, a sophomore starter now a junior starter, and talking to the coaches, they really love the physical play you bring now. Is not only a shutdown corner, but you're also getting your nose up there, taking out guys. No, yeah, last year, um, one of my I would say one of my weaknesses, I wasn't as physical as I should be. You know what I'm saying? I was, I would stick more to like coverage and stuff like that, and my tackling and uh, other physicality things were like something I worked on like the whole summer and off season stuff like that. So I really taken that as my number one priority and like applied it to my game. So I'm. I'm Happy that they consider that like one of my traits now. And how cool is it having your junior oh, brothers yeah. out here playing with you? <laughs> nah, yeah, it's my Rayon Lane, you know, yeah. number one in the country right now. So, you oh. know, we got to keep it up, you know. <laughs> You're making him look good. Hey, shoot. He helped me out sometimes, so I got to give him his credit. And what does that mean? You're the, I mean, the whole defensive backfield, juniors, you guys have come along together and really come into your own together. Right, yeah. I know, like, last year we had some growing pain and stuff like that, having us, like, you know, we have we played a little bit, but we had to start, and I feel like it's all coming together now. You know what I'm saying? We, we have chemistry. We know how each other plays and stuff like that, and we really like putting it together, and I feel like it's starting to show on the field now. So that's, that's a positive thing. Starting in so many games last year, does that give you a comfort level and kind of slow things down this year? Yeah, like it's kind of funny now, though, because like, I, like all the, I talk to the freshmen and stuff, and they look at me like I'm like old now. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a different change of pace now, so I'm, I feel like I'm kind of like a veteran now in, in, in some ways, even though I'm still in junior. You know, I still got a lot of ball left to play, so yeah but I definitely feel more comfortable out there. And one thing that Coach Newberry and also Coach Volker really talk about is almost each and every game giving a different look to the opposition offense. And that must be a challenge in practice coming out here and kind of learning something new each week. Right, yeah, because the quarterbacks we go against in the AAC, they're good quarterbacks. You know what I'm saying? We've been playing against the same quarterbacks for a couple years now, so they know our looks and stuff like that. So we got to switch it up so that they don't know pre-snap what we're in. And so we just got to, you know, switch it up to make it a little harder on them because we go against some pretty good quarterbacks. And you got a pretty good uh, off uh, defensive line in front of you that uh, helps you out a little bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get some pressure. You know, we call a lot of blitzes and stuff like that. So getting to the quarterback is a number one priority around here. So. And it really seems like a key with this Navy defense is forcing turnovers and forcing your opposition to make mistakes. Yeah, we got to get six every game. You know what I'm saying? The stats don't lie when we get six. You know, we, we win the game most of the time, so that's our that's our goal every game. Now, as you guys come out and, and stack these practices, that's what Coach says is really important, stacking practices. What's it been like this season out here on the practice field? It's been different because, you know, changing coach staff, stuff like that, practice has been, I say, more intense, even though it was intense before, but the coaches have made it more intense, so, you know. And make it hard on us every day. Yeah, it's make it like make it hard on your teammates, giving you a hard time, huh? Yeah, you know, they're trying to be funny. <laughs> now you come from north of Los Angeles, a Southern California guy, uh, yeah. Palmdale, Palmdale, known for its uh, aircraft, famous military aircraft. Uh, so true. kind of some symmetry. You come into the Naval Academy. I guess, I guess that I never really looked at it like that ever before. My dad actually used to work um, on some of the missiles and stuff there when he was younger and stuff like that. But I never really looked at it before like that. Um, yeah, but we do have the Edwards Air Force Base and the, what's it, Lock Lockheed? Lock yeah, so yeah, I've, I've seen it, been around there a couple of times, so. And you talk about your father, he's been around football, played uh, yeah. at USC. What did that mean to you to have a father who's walked in your shoes doing what you've done and doing what you're doing, Division One football? No, it's actually, it's really a blessing, really, because um, I didn't really understand it until I got older and I started like looking at college and started really playing, but my dad played at USC at their best you know, at their prime, really, you know what I'm saying? He had a Rose Bowl his freshman year. And, and like, I really take that in now because now when, like, he tells me stuff, I know he's played on the biggest stage possible and he knows what he's talking about. So that's really a blessing, like, really. And, like, my little brother, too, now, he plays at Yale Division One football. So, like, you know, it's it's kind of, it's on us, like, all 
have me. You got to talk to uh, athletic director Chad, uh, Chad Gladchuk and uh, maybe get a game against Yale sometime. Oh, and yeah, sure. We might have to set that up. <laughs> we might have to set that up. That would be nice. How cool is that, being able to talk to your brother about the common experiences you're having in college? He's a year younger, but right. you guys share a lot of the same things, going to fine academic institutions like the Naval Academy in Yale, but also playing in proud Division One football programs. Yeah. I mean, I feel like it's a blessing, for real, because I... I like watch him and I talk to him and like I see him going through some of the same things I went through as a younger player and stuff like that. So like I went to his game last his first game last week, he had his first start at Holy Cross and like after the game, like, you know, he's he's asking me like what, what you what you think? What you think? I'm like I, and I tell him, you know what I'm saying? He's, I feel like he really listens to me now because he like he sees that I've gone through it and he respects that and stuff like that. So I feel like our relationship has only gotten better with football and like, you know, just as being brothers through that through football and stuff like that, so. And your sister's a pretty good athlete, too. Yeah, she goes to Sierra Canyon playing volleyball, you know what I'm saying? Number 12. <laughs> yeah. Sierra Canyon, a, a famous school, a school that really prepared you well for the Naval Academy, a school that counts on you to do a lot of things, so when you come to a Naval Academy, you're prepared. That's true, yeah, Sierra Canyon, I give all credit and props to them. You know, they, they was a blessing in my life, they really changed my life, and as a result, like, my brother went there and my sister went there, too, so. I have nothing but good, good things to say about Sierra Canyon, you know? Yeah. See, your, your junior year, still have some time until you get into the, the senior campaign, but you start thinking about uh, what you want to do in the future uh, serving your country? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I Like, as I get older and older, I see it's coming time to it, but I probably, uh, I want to do information and stuff like that, but if I can't get into that, I'll probably end up being a SWO. Okay. I'm thinking about going that route. Uh, join the fleet or a Marine? The fleet, the fleet. I don't know. I don't know. I used to want to be a Marine, but I don't know. As I got older, I don't know how. We'll see. We'll see. It's still up for up for debate. And that's a great thing. You get to make that decision, and you get to learn from your teammates, some of the older players, but also some of the guys you played with. You're able to talk to them, and also talk to the the brotherhood of Navy right. football as, as they help give you ideas for your career goals. Right. That's true. Yeah. That's the that's the great part about this place. You know what I'm saying? You have a hundreds of people who've already did it and you see them being successful so you can always go reach out to them and stuff like that and you have people that you was already in school with like you know people like Jamal Glenn who like played the position before I played it you know he still talks to me to this day before every game he texts me for the game you know what I'm saying so it's always good relationships and stuff like that I know I can always reach out to them so that's a good thing they talk about cornerback being on the island do you like being on the island I love it I love it it's, it's that's when you get to see who's better you know what I'm saying it's you versus them it's no excuses you know what I'm saying you get to see who's who's better that rep and stuff like that. So I feel like it's the greatest, the greatest rep of competition is out on the island. He's Navy junior cornerback Elias Larry out there on the island, a future Naval officer on this Navy football team.